silver, silver, line into the story. If you thought that I would turn and run, then y'all don't know me. May my fears rest in peace, cause that's a old me. Got this taste on my tongue, I crave the glory. Ah, gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Oh, I, as we rise, rise from the flames. Heart of a lion, never say never. Cut like a diamond, shine under pressure. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow. Just play the game right, no one can follow. Oh, it's time to fire on I say the struggle reveals how you deal with the monster that's inside you I don't buy into the luck, I put my faith and my trust in my team Everything that we done been through ah, gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain Oh, I, as we rise, rise from the flames Heart of a lion, never say never, cut like a diamond, shine on the Oh, it's time to fire on up Oh, it's time to fire on up Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow Just play the game right, no one can follow Oh, it's time to fire on up Oh, it's time to fire on up It's time to fire on up It's time to fire on up yeah. Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow Just play the game right, no one can follow Oh, it's time to fire on up Oh, it's time to fire on up Costco haul. Very excited to show you guys everything that we got today. It is a very warm day today, so as usual, I'm gonna go through the cold stuff, show you guys what we got, and then put that away, and then I'll go to the shelf stable items and show you guys everything we got with those. So of course, as always, this is gonna be a super healthy grocery haul, gluten-free, dairy-free. For those of you who are brand new, welcome to my channel. I upload one to two videos a week all about living healthy based on my busy ICU nurse work schedule, so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if that interests you. For all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy, and I also hope that you learned something too, because as you guys know, I love eating food, I love nutrition stuff, so here we go. Hey, star of the show, stop stealing the limelight. Also, I am gonna be doing a couple taste tests for you guys, because there's a couple things that I've been wanting to try for many months now and I just haven't bought them yet to try. So very excited, we'll do that at the end of the video. In addition, in the previous clips that I started the video on, I tried to include prices on all the items that I shot. So FYI, hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, now let's get into the video and don't forget to like. Gotta love me some Costco celery. I love buying celery at Costco because the leaves are already cut off for you. So it just makes celery juicing so much easier. Also their celery tastes better for some reason. I don't know why, but love Costco celery. And by the way, you should buy your celery organic because it is heavily sprayed with pesticides, so you guys know. So because I'm working in a lot smaller space than in our other house that we were in, um, I'm still trying to figure out where to put stuff that I've already talked to you guys about. So right now we're gonna put it on this chair next to me. We'll see how long that lasts. All right, you guys know that I love my arugula for my salads, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I just got Costco's like mixed salad greens for my salads. 
This coming week, I am only gonna be working two days, so I didn't wanna get a ton of arugula. And they do have arugula at Costco, but this just looked really good to me, so I just got one box. Brussels sprouts, you don't have to buy organic. They only have the organic kind at Costco, so I was like, sure, I'll just get it. And this bag is not super gigantic, so this will either be one meal for us and we'll have some leftover for the next meal, or we'll just make half the bag and then make another half the bag for the next week. Brussels sprouts really do last a long time in the fridge, at least a couple weeks, so we have time to make these. Broccoli, also a cruciferous vegetable. You don't have to buy organics. This is the non-organic kind, so you can save a lot of money on buying your cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, non-organic. Bell peppers for Josh's Greek salads that he's still having every single day. You should buy these organic because they are heavily sprayed with pesticides. Costco didn't have the organic kind, so we just got the non-organic, which is fine because we use my favorite vegetable wash from Trader Joe's, as you guys know. I just tell Josh to really wash these well uh, before eating them. Cucumber, also for Josh's Greek salads. They have organic still, so love that. They did not have organic baby tomatoes. You should buy your tomatoes organic. They're on the dirty dozen list. So we got these non-organic ones. So again, same with the bell peppers. We'll just wash them with the vegetable wash. This is a new item for Costco. These dill pickles from Costco apparently is a new item. So I'm excited to try them. I'm not necessarily a pickle person, but at times, you know, throughout the week, pickles do sound pretty good. Excited to try these. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried these before, because I'm curious. I've seen these at other places in smaller containers. This was $5, so pretty cheap. So even if we don't like them, it's just $5. All right, on to the meats. Organic chicken thighs that are very well priced at Costco. Uh, three, I think these are three pounds. It's three containers. I think believe three pounds. Most of the time what we'll do is we'll make all three pounds. And then like you saw in the previous video where I talked about how to save money on a, on a budget while eating healthy, we make all of this chicken thigh at once and then we'll store it in the fridge and then we'll have it throughout the week. And then after four days of being in the fridge, you do have to freeze it and then we'll portion it out in 25 to 30 grams of protein per serving and a zip Ziploc. Ziploc bag it and put it in the freezer and then we can just grab and go for our lunches or like the meal that we're cooking is really easy. Ground bison. Wanted to switch it up this week instead of buying ground beef. It should be 100% grass fed organic. This is just ground bison. You don't have to really worry about ground bison being 100% grass fed because they're already naturally gonna be grass fed. There's not like big farming industries that farm bison, you know? So anyways, they are gonna be more expensive and it is pretty lean meat. So if you didn't want beef, you can just get ground bison because it's very lean beef. Why? I know you want attention, but now's not the time. This was about 15 or $16, which is well priced for this many shrimp. shrimp High quality frozen raw shrimp is gonna be pretty pricey. We'll saute it and cook it in butter and seasonings. New item from Costco. This looks really good because there are basically no carbs in this. Um, they call it one egg, which is three carb and 17 protein, 190 calories, 12 fat. So the macros on this is really good. The only thing that I'm not super keen on is it does have whole milk. Um, none of it's organic, which your dairy products, if you do eat dairy, needs to be organic. And then um, the meat is not organic uh, and it's got a couple like phosphates, so a couple preservatives. So it's not the greatest ingredients, but if you're on the go and you're watching your calorie intake and watching your carb intake, if you're keto, this is a really nice option just for convenience sake. On to the shelf stable items, we have pistachios. <laughs> We've started to buy these on a regular basis because they're really good for men, you men out there. If you want to increase your testosterone levels and help your overall male health, go ahead and eat some pistachios every day. We like to buy all of our canned fish, canned chicken from Costco because it's better priced. Also, their canned seafood is really high quality, wild caught, sustainable. So this is albacore and like I said, it's wild caught. I like this brand from Wild Planet too. They tend to have really d delicious seafood and none of it is farm raised. We normally buy the tuna that's mercury tested, but they don't have that this week or maybe they ran out, I don't know. This was the only option for tuna, so that's fine. I normally don't like albacore because albacore is uh, the biggest tuna fish and so normally it is higher in mercury. Avocado oil, the best oil or one of the best oils to saute in, to cook in at high smoke points. This is really, really good for you. Really high in omega-3 is really good for heart health. So this and olive oil we use a lot. Coconut oil is a really good high smoke point, healthy for you fat to cook in. This has a really neutral taste compared to coconut oil that would add like me a little bit of coconut flavor to your meal. So this really
really doesn't have any flavoring to it. So we use this a lot, very well priced at Costco too. So highly recommend you get your oils at Costco. Really, really good prices. New item for Costco. You know, I love Primal Kitchen for condiments. This is Hawaiian barbecue sauce. So I'm assuming it's sweet. So yeah, it's sweetened with date paste, uh, apple cider vinegar, organic coconut aminos. Um, so all really clean, pure ingredients, no artificial stuff, no artificial colorings, nothing like that. So that's why I really, really love Primal Kitchen. And I want, I always wanna buy it from Costco if they have it because the price is way better and you can buy it in bulk. Love me, my teacher owns, of course. So pork rinds, I like this company, the 4505 company. They use organic ingredients. This one has some milk and cheddar cheese on it, but I I've never tried this flavor before. Even though I'm dairy free, still want to try it. Um, Costco has really good prices on their chicharrones, on their pork rinds, and I love pork rinds, so I, I always have to get them at Costco. Jalapeno cheddar flavor. Last time I bought the chocolate flavor of this, and so this time I wanted just to try the coconut keto clusters that's not the chocolate kind. So I'm assuming it's very similar tasting to the chocolate kind, just without the chocolate. So very excited to have these. New item for Costco are these Jojo, I guess they're like chocolate bars, but they pride themselves on really clean ingredients, which the ingredients are really good for you, really low in sugar, really low in carbs. I had a, a taster. Costco has their tasty booths open. I don't know what you call them. Okay. What do you guys call at Costco when you go to the, the booths and they give out samples of stuff to try? What do you guys call that? I don't know. The tasty booths, <laughs> the sampler booths, no. Anyways, they had a booth and I had never tried this before, but again, this is another item that I've been wanting to try for many months now. And so finally I got a little taste of them and they're, they're really, really good. So for one big bar, which is the bars are about this long. So like a regular size chocolate bar is 180 calories, 13 fat, 11 carb, four fiber and five protein. Um, sugar, total sugars is only eight grams. So for a nice tasty chocolate treat at night, this is a really great option. Um, and like I said, I tried it at Costco today. Josh tried them at Costco and they were delicious. Another item I've been wanting to try forever, and Costco's probably had these for a year now, are these Unreal Bars, kind of like a healthy version of Almond Joy, except they don't, I don't think they have almonds in them. It's just the coconut in the middle and then chocolate on the outside. The ingredients are really clean. Very pure ingredients, no artificial anything. So I do want to try one on camera right now because I really have been wanting to try these for a very, very long time. I like that they're individually wrapped like this. So if you don't like coconut, you probably won't like these, but if you like coconut and chocolate, oh my gosh. Tastes just like an Almond Joy without the almond on top. This is very good. Yeah, very good. So I can't even tell that that's like a healthy for you version. Tastes just like the Almond Joys. So one bar is 70 calories, five fat, eight carb, three sugar, that's it. And it just seems like, cause it's very sweet. It seems like they have, they have more sugar in it. So very happy I bought these. It'd be really nice like to have one after a meal, just to like satisfy your sweet tooth. Really good. As you guys know, RX bars, we always buy these every time we go to Costco, good price on a bulk. We eat these a lot for breakfast or snack, but a lot of times for breakfast. All right, you guys, they brought back the fantastic price of Vital Collagen Protein Powder at Costco. So all through pretty much last year, it was $23 and it was oh, such a fantastic price for this huge container. Um, and then they increased the price to like $29 for the longest time. It was $29 a couple weeks ago. We went this morning, $23 again for this. You guys, this is such a good price. Half of this container at Target or the grocery store is like $40, it's crazy. So if you're gonna eat this, which I highly recommend, I always put it in my coffee every morning, get it at Costco. Save yourself tons of money and it's worth it at that point. I got these last time too. Really like this company for beef sticks. They have turkey sticks I get at Trader Joe's, but Costco is really well priced. Each stick, it ends up being a dollar. And if you get it at Trader Joe's, which I normally get them at Trader Joe's, they're like a dollar seventy, dollar eighty per stick. They don't have the turkey sticks at Costco. I'm hoping that Costco brings the turkey sticks. I like the turkey sticks better. Um, they're less fat, less calories, but I really like these for a, a really quick go-to snack. I'm flying to San Diego next week, so maybe I'll bring them on the plane. That would be kind of a nice treat on the plane. We love buying our coffee at Costco because you can get a huge thing for, this is was $16, organic. Very important to buy your coffee organic, fair trade. Uh, coffee is heavily sprayed with pesticides, chemicals. And also, if you're not careful, if you get really bad, 
low quality coffee can have some mold on it too, as I'm learning. So just want to be careful, especially you coffee drinkers like me who drink coffee every single day. You want to put high quality coffee in your body. That's high in antioxidants and good for you. I like this company. I buy their hand soap a lot and I was excited to see that they have four for a good price. I think four for 15 or $16. So that's a really good price to buy. If you buy them individually at the store, they're like $10. We needed more body wash. And of course I try to buy all of my cosmetics, body washes, shampoos, condition conditioners organic um, and good for the environment. This, when I saw this at Costco, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of this company. So what I did was um, I have an app on my phone from the environmental working group. So I'll put it up here on the screen here so you can see what the app looks like. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. For those of you who are brand new and never heard of the environmental working group, they do have an app and they have a website and it's a group of researchers that have researched a whole bunch of different cosmetics and they test all the different types of food out there and they tell you what to buy organic, what to buy non-organic, what different types of makeup to buy that's good for you, that won't ruin your hormones. And they even test the water in your environment that you live in. So you can look up the city that you live in and they can tell you if your water quality is good for you or bad for you, what kind of filter you should buy for your water and all this other stuff. So they, they really do a good job telling the public about like what kind of health concerns to look out for and what products to buy that are good for you. And they just, it's, they've tested hundreds, thousands of different products that we use on a daily basis from food to lotions, to cosmetics, to sunscreens, to all this other stuff. So I got went to the app on my phone at Costco and looked up this company and looked up their shampoo and conditioner combination. So I looked up this exact product on their website and of course they've tested it already and they gave it a rating of two, which means that it's actually good for you. It won't ruin your hormones. It's not cancer causing, it's good for the environment. So I was like, oh, perfect. And it's in bulk and it's a good price. So it's a win, win, win all around. So I went ahead and picked it up, but that's what I do with all of my cosmetics is if I'm at the store and I, and I need something and I don't know, I've never heard of it before or I'm interested in a product, I'll look it up on the Environmental Working Group's website right on my phone and it'll tell me whether I should buy it or not, whether it's good for me or not, whether it's good for the environment. So I really, really like that app that they have. Josh Eaton more allergy pills, good price on this. And then of course, Good price on bulk pods for your dishwasher. Spindrifts, always buy these in bulk because we love our Spindrifts. Favorite sparkling water. I don't pay attention to beer because I don't like beer, but Josh says they have a craft beer section. Pick these up, so he's excited to have these. And then of course, Trulies. Love me this flavor. This is the my favorite kind is like the black box lemonade kind. They truly is expanding their like seltzer drinks to like all these different flavors, but this continues to be my go-to. We got a doormat uh, for our apartment because I'm still decorating. I'm still putting together our apartment that we moved into. As you guys know, we just renovated it. So, and I am, uh, by the way, gonna do a final walkthrough video on our apartment and what it's looking like. I just can't do it yet because we're waiting on a front door to come in and I'm waiting on a couple decorating items for the kitchen and just some like final touches to our apartment. But that final walkthrough is coming soon. Our kitchen is done. I'll probably do like a final product of our IKEA kitchen. That'll be a video coming soon. So stay tuned if you're interested. It is getting really hot here. I live in Tacoma. Nobody has AC. We don't have AC. And so we are looking at a couple 90 degree days coming up and we are not looking forward to it. Costco has a couple AC units that we've been eyeing. There's one AC unit in particular that is pretty pricey, but what it'll do for us is it'll act sort of like a mini split and it'll air condition our entire apartment. We kind of wanted to buy it today, but they were all sold out. So tomorrow morning, Josh is gonna get there first thing in the morning because they're gonna get four in apparently, the guy said. So we gotta snag it before anybody else does. What's cool about Costco is if you buy your appliances at Costco or really whatever you buy at Costco, if you're not satisfied, you can return it, even if you've used it a while. So this is what we do every summer, you guys. I don't know if this is correct or even, I mean, it's legal because like they take it back. What we do is every summer is we buy an AC from Costco, we use it all summer and then we return it at the end of the summer when it starts getting cooler and we get our full refund back. So I don't know if you guys are looking to do anything like that, but it does work. How long have we been Costco members? 15, 20 years? And we've done that pretty much every single year. <laughs> so just a tip, 
a pro tip if you guys are looking to save money and you know you just just keep going to Costco Costco is the best place on earth so that's our plan for the summer with the whole AC situation all right you guys so that'll be it for the video I hope that you enjoyed watching our huge Costco haul we uh, spent a lot of money but you know when you go to Costco you have to spend hundreds of dollars <laughs> it's just what you do all this stuff will last us a long time if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below if you whatever you've gotten at costco recently that you really liked please leave a comment down below and also suggest anything for future videos because i really want to help you guys out in your healthy living journey make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really does help support my channel and always remember to be kind to yourself lily oh. say hi say hi to the say hi to the people <laughs>